Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at our Stromberg Carlson bumper mounted clothesline for your RVs here at eTrailer. So when you're out with your RV, sometimes on longer trips or when you like to boondock, you will eventually accumulate dirty laundry that may be difficult to find a nice convenient place to wash. Another thing is if you'd like to go out to the lake and you'd like to go swimming, it's nice to have a clothesline just like this to hang up your clothes out to dry out in the sun. So let's take a look at how this is designed for your RV. Now this does come with a clothesline but does not come with clothespins or a laundry bag. So you can check those out here at eTrailer. We have the Coglins clothespins on our clothes right now but we also have the laundry bag which I use to carry our laundry. I do recommend either replacing that clothesline or um, using a different style since this is a thicker line and it can fray over time. You may be interested in using wire if you want it more permanently mounted. So this is a bumper mounted rack that fits onto your 4x4 square bumper. Now if you do have a ladder or if you want a rack that mounts to your wall or to your hitch, we also have the Stromberg Carlson Extend Line Laundry Rack which attaches to those. Now it's a different style. I personally prefer this style of a clothesline because it's a little bit more traditional in design as well as function. Yes, the extended line looks like it can carry more items, but this, with the way it's designed, that it has four rows, as well as the ability to move it back and forth, as well as how easy it is to mount to your bumper, I do like this style. It is, of course, up to you with your types of situations, but I hope this helped you out with figuring out if it's the best fit for your lifestyle. So this comes with 48 inch long aluminum struts that have one, two, three, four holes for your clothesline. So you can run your clothesline through the top and then through the holes to create four lines. And this can be spaced apart depending on the length or the width of your bumper. With a weight capacity of 30 pounds, you'll have to be mindful of how you put your clothes onto the line. So if you can, please try to wring out your clothes just to get rid of as much of that water weight as you can get. That way you can use that weight capacity for the important things, which is more clothes on your clothesline. So this includes all the hardware you need to install this onto your bumper. So these use powder coated steel brackets and these can be kept on your bumper. And they also use zinc plated U-bolts as well as flange nuts. While the brackets can stay on your bumper, these struts need to be taken off. So when you're done, your clothes are all dry and you're ready to go back onto the road, you just pop these off those brackets. And that means this being made of aluminum is nice because it keeps it lightweight as well as rust resistant. You want that rust resistance as you are going to have the elements out there, water going down on it. So you want to make sure this stays and lasts a long time. Now the install process is relatively quick and easy for the arms, although the clothesline does take a minute just to get it to the right tension as well as length for your purposes. So let's take a look at that process. First you have this aluminum bar and that's going to install into the brackets on your bumper. So you're going to have your bracket on top of your bumper and then you're going to use the included U-bolt that goes underneath your bumper and then you're going to use a size 14 socket or wrench to tighten the included nuts down. Once you have these tightened down, you can actually leave these brackets on your bumper and that's the main part of the install process. But when you want to set up your clothesline, you just get the aluminum bars and fit them right onto those brackets. And then you're going to have this included clothesline. So make a knot at the end of that clothesline and then put it through your holes on your clothesline par and then bring them across and you can zigzag back and forth depending on how many clotheslines you want to make. And also depending on how far apart your brackets are, you can have a clothesline as wide as seven feet. As you do install your clothesline, I do recommend making sure that it is as tight as you can get it. I like to put these little slight knots on the side, that way we hold our tension a little bit better. And if you are using this with hangers, I do recommend putting your own knots into the clothesline themselves, that way your hangers can stay in one place and they don't all drop to the middle. You know what, while we're here, why don't I just guide you through the process of washing your clothes just so that you see how this process goes and see our clothesline in action. So I have right here our Coglin's laundry bag. That's what I'm using to store our laundry. So we'll just get our clothes and our towels right out of here. 
Now I like to use bar soap, but you can really use any laundry detergent. Just add that to your water and make sure it's soapy before you add your clothes. Then submerge your clothes or whatever you're washing into that soapy water. And I do recommend scrubbing them just to get all that dirt out. So once you have all your clothes scrubbed and you got all the dirt out of them, we're then gonna switch our water with clean water so that we can rinse them. You're then gonna submerge your soapy clothes into the nice rinse water and just rinse that around, scrub that around until the water is clear. You may have to refresh your water every now and then just to make sure it's still a rinse water. But once that's all done, let's start wringing it out. Now depending on your clothes, if you have something that wrinkles easily, I do not recommend wringing it. But if you need it to dry very quickly, then just wring that out until as much of the water is out there and then let's hang it up. With this dried out as much as we can get it by hand, let's now put it on our clothes line. So we're using Coglin's clothes pins right over here. Those are already attached to our clothes line. So let's just hang this up. Don't forget to pin it into place with these clothes pins. That way they don't fly off when a gust of wind goes by. So we're just gonna leave these hanging up here for a little bit. It's really, really hot and dry outside, so I don't expect the dry time to take too long. And let's take a look at this when it's dry again. All right, and we are back. This has been out here for an hour, and now our shirts are mostly dry. The things that are in the back are still kind of damp, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really dry after another hour. So very quick, very easy, and it's nice to see how it even smells fresh and sunny. So my final thoughts about this clothes line is I do like how portable it is. Once you're done drying, you just lift them off the brackets and then store them inside your vehicle. It does take some time to figure out the best fit on your bumper with your clothes, whether you're gonna have knots in there, what kind of clothes line you're gonna use, what kind of rope or wire, things like that. But I do like how this gives you a nice, strong, secure base just to get that adventure started. And that was a look here at our Stromberg Carlson bumper mounted clothesline for your RVs here at E-Trailer. My name is Evie Angeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.